Episode 56 CO. Like many states around the country, New York has faced unprecedented environmental challenges. However, thanks to the $10 million grant provided by the Environmental Protection Agency, West Harlem Environmental Action Incorporated, we act, will help identify and address some of the environmental issues that communities in New York are facing, said Congresswoman Grace Meng, New York 06. We act, as an environmental justice thriving community technical assistance center, will help ensure that neighborhoods are better equipped to fight environmental issues that have damaged communities over the past few years. There's challenges they have been facing for generations. House Democrats passed the Inflation Reduction Act to lower energy costs, confront the climate crisis with the fierce urgency of now and set our planet forward on a sustainable trajectory. We are already starting to see the effects of this transformative legislation. I applaud the EPA for the designation of the WE Act Environmental Justice Center in New York as one of the first environmental justice thriving community technical assistance centers. This funding will empower community partners to help to support and build capacity for programs focused on equitably combating the climate crisis here in New York City, said House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries, New York 08. For too long, communities facing environmental justice challenges have been neglected even as they bear the biggest burden of the climate crisis impacts, said Congressman Nadler, New York 12. I'm proud to support EPA's investment in the ACT, which will equip the center with the tools necessary to address the long-standing conditions facing the West Harlem community, including disproportionately high asthma rates among children. The Environmental Justice Thriving Communities Technical Assistance Center's EJ CAC program provides grant funding to organizations around the nation working to address environmental justice and ensure these groups are supported with technical assistance and resources to broaden their engagement to serve more communities, said Congressman Adriano Espaillat, New York 13. I am delighted we ACT has been selected as an Environmental Justice Thriving Community Technical Assistance Center to continue its efforts to uplift underserved communities most susceptible to the impacts of climate change. There is no social justice without environmental justice, and our work must continue to ensure the green and equitable future that all Americans deserve. For too long, certain neighborhoods and communities have borne the burdens of pollution, with little to no resources and assistance to address these inequities. That needs to change. Our communities need to be supported by strong local, state, and federal partnerships that finally tackle historic environmental injustices. Today's announcement seeks to deliver that change. I look forward to working with WEACT to ensure community-based organizations in New York's 20th Congressional District are able to receive the training and capacity building they need to enhance environmental justice throughout our capital region, said Congressman Paul Tonko, New York 20. Congressman Brian Higgins, New York 26, said, From Love Canal to the contaminated Buffalo River, the Buffalo Niagara region has faced some of the nation's most monumental environmental challenges. Through this initiative, organizations here in Western New York will have a place to turn for information and support to provide the best opportunity to bring federal resources dedicated to addressing environmental justice home. Access to clean water and air should not depend on your zip code, Representative Norcross, NJ01, said. This new EPA grant program will provide local communities with the tools and resources needed to navigate the federal government and bring federal dollars back to our neighborhoods in South Jersey. I will continue to fight to level the playing field and improve the quality of life for all. Every American has a right to a safe and healthy environment, but far too many communities across New Jersey continue to pay a disproportionate price for pollution simply because of where they live said Congressman Frank Pallone, Jr., NJ06, ranking member of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. I fought hard for meaningful environmental justice funding in the Inflation Reduction Act because it's critical that we ensure these overburdened communities have the federal resources they need to mitigate pollution and protect their families from dangerous health impacts. I'm glad to see that the Biden administration is prioritizing this important cause and ensuring communities have access to the critical technical assistance they need.
I look forward to continuing to work with EPA to make sure every family can breathe clean air, drink safe water, and enjoy a clean future. I am pleased to hear that the EPA will be creating this thriving Community Technical Assistance Center to help cities and communities in the 10th Congressional District utilize federal funds and resources to clean up environmental pollution in low-income, minority-populated neighborhoods, said Congressman Donald M. Payne, Jr. Americans who live in these areas have been suffering from air and water pollution issues for too long. This environmental injustice needs to end. I am proud that the Biden administration has committed federal funds to do something about it. For generations, black, brown, and low-income communities have disproportionately borne the brunt of climate change. Historically, our nation has refused to address the unique challenges these communities face, said Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman, NJ12. The EPA's Environmental Justice Thriving Communities Technical Assistance Center's program is a step toward righting this historical wrong and assisting vulnerable communities in New Jersey, and I thank the EPA for including the West Harlem Environmental Action Center. Everyone, regardless of their race, income, or zip code, deserves to breathe clean air and drink clean water. We Act is among 17 Environmental Justice Thriving Communities Technical Assistance Centers, EJ CACs. The EPA announced to receive a total of more than $177 million to remove barriers and improve accessibility for communities with environmental justice concerns. With this critical investment, these centers will provide training and other assistance to build capacity for navigating federal grant application systems, writing strong grant proposals, and effectively managing grant funding. In addition, these centers will provide guidance on community engagement, meeting facilitation, and translation and interpretation services for limited English-speaking participants, thus removing barriers and improving accessibility for communities with environmental justice concerns. Each of the technical assistance centers will also create and manage communication channels to ensure all communities have direct access to resources and information. EPA will deliver these resources in collaboration with the U.S. Department of Energy, whose funding allows the EJ tax to provide support for identifying community opportunities for clean energy transition and financing options, including public-private partnerships supporting clean energy demonstration, deployment, workforce development and outreach opportunities that advance energy justice objectives. The formation of the EJ Technical Assistance Centers is in direct response to feedback from communities and environmental justice leaders who have long called for technical assistance and capacity building support for communities and their partners as they work to access critical federal resources. The 17 centers will provide comprehensive coverage for the entire United States through a network of over 160 partners including community-based organizations, additional academic institutions, and environmental finance centers, so that more communities can access federal funding opportunities like those made available through President Biden's Inflation Reduction Act and bipartisan infrastructure law. EPA has selected three national EJ CACs that will provide additional assistance across the country, with particular capacity to assist tribes, including International City County Management Association, Institute for Sustainable Communities, National Indian Health Board. Additional award information for each selectee will be announced in summer 2023. The EJ CAC program is part of the Federal Interagency Thriving Communities Network and delivers on the Biden-Harris administration's Justice 40 initiative to ensure that 40% of the benefits of certain federal investments flow to disadvantaged communities. Today's selection will ensure communities with environmental justice concerns can access President Biden's historic investments in America to address generational disinvestment, legacy pollution, infrastructure challenges, and build a clean energy economy that will lower energy costs, strengthen our energy security, and meet our climate goals. Today's announcement builds on the $100 million announced earlier this year under the Environmental Justice Government to Government Program and the Environmental Justice Collaborative Problem Solving Cooperative Agreement Program, with applications due on April 14, 2023.